All right, it's done. It's like the Nile River. That's stupid. All right, everyone just calm down. You forget about the R8? What R8? Yeah. What? <laughs> So we got our pictures back up. We have our fishing poles. Well, technically Josh's fishing poles. Mind you, our buddy Josh, it's one of our good friends. He plays for the Eagles. He likes to fish. And he left us these fishing poles that we're probably gonna store here until end of NFL season. The 720 is pretty much finalized. It is running, the new engine is in it. The brand new, obviously brand new engine, the oil pump was leaking and it's leaking from here, which is kind of crazy. So there's the input that goes into here. Now it was dripping oil from here. So we have a McLaren sending us a brand new one and we need a special tool to replace it. So we're just waiting on that from McLaren. Rift is almost done with the downpipes on the designing of the, of the new downpipe for the P1 and we should be able to have both of these right off the lift as soon as possible. The R8 is almost finalized. Our paint department painted the stuff gloss black because these were a little too difficult to wrap silver to gloss black so painting was the better option. And then we have the work truck getting the gloss black accents wrapped. Christian over here is doing his magic. Sure. And then we have the novice on this side. Whoa, what's up? It's dirty. Well, where I'm wrapping is actually clean. So appearances aren't everything, dude. Don't judge a book by its cover. Just tucking and squeegeeing. Why are you using the hard side of the card? I thought you were supposed to use the felt tape side. Well, the felt tape side's too thick to get all the way in there. Oh, so you have to tuck it in there? Yeah, yeah so I'm gonna use the hard side to get it way deep in there so no, du no dust or <clears throat> water gets under it. Since this thing's gonna be going off-roading again in the near future, I'm sure. What? For me, we'll off-road? No way. No, 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 there's no off-roading. We did that on the last episode. <laughs> sand pile out of the fender line. What like sand pile? It's clean up here. What about the heat gun? What's the point of that? Post heating so it doesn't shrink back as soon as you get it outside. If you don't post heat the vinyl to the correct temperature, as soon as you get outside and the sun does it for you, it's gonna shrivel up like a raisin and you're gonna be yelling at me. I'm going back to the novice. Do you know what you're doing? No, but what better vehicle to practice on than a Urus? It's just a work truck, it doesn't really matter. Quote on quote Camilo, what he says. It is, it, it is a work truck. So. If it gets scratched, the blade goes through the paint. It, it's, it's whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Which blade though? Because if it's Christian's really nice blade. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's going down the, the bare metal. Then that's okay. Yeah, look that's him, what look we're at him. talking about. You see him cutting right there. So the wrap we're putting on the Urus is the move. nose attack. Gloss sand. It should look pretty good. What is it? No, so we have 24 hours. Right. By the time the car gets here. Wait. To do a full body wrap. It gets here in 24 hours? No, we have 24 hours to do the whole body wrap. From the time that it gets here? Mm -hmm. What car is it? No, 720. What's, what's 720? White 720, coin green. Why do we have 24 hours? That, that was, who who that made was... this? A unicorn's ass? Who, who made this timeline, dude? <laughs> well, honestly, I'm joking. I want to come in and say if you guys want to leave, we can leave for the day. For your day. So there's no full wrap? No full wrap. I want, I want, I want to see it. Oh, <laughs> dude, I was excited. <laughs> I was excited. Oh, you were excited. Okay, that's dude, a I was good reaction. <laughs> you listen to that, people. That's a good reaction you want. That means we can get it done within 24 hours, and it's a fun thing to do. <laughs> Damn it. I should have thought something worse. Uh. Honestly, dude, honestly, all I pictured was that was Camilo right there. Like, yeah, bro, Chris is the best. 24 hour turnaround time, done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the like, Christian and Cody? Ah, easy, dude. That's fucking gold, dude. What are you doing? Just poking around. Yeah? What's going on over here? Oh, you know, just showing our viewers what a Rift titanium exhaust looks like installed on a 570S. Something beautiful. Yeah, I agree. And then their downpipes with the Kevlar heat. Packaging built in. 
Yeah. yeah. Tips. That little piece right there is missing on that little guy. So, ingenuity, it's finest right here. Yeah. You split it, split it like a glizzy. If you cut hot dogs in half the long way, you're a psychopath. Like when you eat them, do you eat them like this or do you, do you bite them like a cool Option two. I, I, I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't. You eat it the long way? That's the only way to eat a hot dog. It's you're a fucking psychopath, oh, dude. You split them in half, dude. Get out of here, dude. You had to put some cheese strips in there, dude. That's fucking gross. That must be a South Dakota thing. That's definitely a South Dakota thing. You can buy cheese dogs at Publix, dude. You, I, I don't even think they have a Publix in South Dakota. Really right Look at that! And it's perfect length. Pre-cut. Dude, that's money. Get out of here. Alright, so... Camille left us a president, it looks like. Wow. After you took the Euros off-roading, this is what we're left with. Perfect for wrapping. That could have... If he would have sold the Urus to somebody and that traveled across the world, dude, they would have had Fort Myers dirt. That dirt right there, I would get tested because that definitely has some shit. We get a little bit here, nice. Perfect for wrapping. This is not the typical stuff you see falling out of an Urus, it's mounds of dirt. His coolant, what the f <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is coolant. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I agree. I, when it's I white like that, that's coolant residue. I don't think that's mud either. Yeah, because look at the look at it shot up, dude. It left the spurts on the ceiling. This is the last time you guys are gonna see it. See it gray, silver, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. It's probably some Lambo code color. The tent looks good though. Blacked out. Perfect for Camille to get pulled over in and get more points on his license. So about 10 minutes ago, obviously the bumper was on. Now I would have recorded the dis I guess call it you dismembered it, but would have recorded it. But obviously we have two hands and Big Poppy's on an important business meeting lunch call. So he's not here to help. So that's what it looks like. I say we leave it. I say no bumper, dude. It looks more rough and rugged. Yeah, like this looks more like Fort Myers. Dude, we should put a winch on it. Too. So Camille is going to LA this week to do another Urus out in Los Angeles for... Um, I can't even say his name, but he he's a professional basketball player. I don't know, I might have to sign like 18 documents to say his name, so I'm just not gonna say it. But yeah, he has an Urus too, and they are made for tall people, so I don't know why Camille has one. Um, but yeah, do the same thing. So since he's going out to LA, we can do whatever the hell we want to the Urus. Future reference if anybody's removing these from the fenders of the Urus. You can't see that. It's, I'm only, just it's only double sided tape. That's but is that Lambo double-sided tape? Yeah, that's original. Italian double-sided tape, very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. That's Italian right there. That's it has an accent right. if you yeah. streak it. I think it's actually Gucci tape. If you look close, you can Could actually be LV. See, see the monogram. Yeah. It's very exclusive. So I guess, what's next? Bumper taillights? No, I think we'll just keep working our way back. We'll take off the windshield. Okay. Gasket thingies, take them revolver. Then we'll pull off the door handles. Maybe the mirror caps, on how Okay, okay. We decided we're not gonna make everyone struggle, and if you guys have the knowledge to watch these videos, figure out that this is the this is the remover right here. We're gonna give you a little trade secret on removing the Lamborghini Urus door handles. A little inside scoop here. Yeah, come on this side. So first you back this little screw out, this little T20. You can take it out all the way because it just stops at a certain point. But then once you get to the end, you have to push it back in. And that releases the cap on this side. And that's it, the door handle, or the door panels are still on, guys. So it's literally. Can we just wiggle this guy out? Yeah. As such, pull this door handle towards you. And then it'll swing out. Oh no. Sometimes it's a little trouble, just like that. Then we got one connector. One of these is gonna be for the light. This one right here is gonna be for the sensor, the touchless entry sensor. We'll unplug that little guy, and that's it. Literally, that's it. So, easy to overthink this one, because you think to remove the door panel, and it's gonna be some crazy stuff, because it's a Lambo, but actually. We'll pull these gaskets off right here, so we can wrap behind them, but not everybody's gonna have to do this. Yeah, this is optional, if you guys are wrapping. Dude, this thing is filthy for just getting washed. Washed? Yeah. I thought you, so you didn't wash it? No, but he drove through the car wash. He drove through the car wash. 
and then we took it. wash it, and then we just took it back and pressure wash it again. Yeah, and it's still grimy. So some of this shit's so caked off. It's well, like an 04 toilet roll. <laughs> I was gonna say a Durango. That's why we get a clay bar. <laughs> That's why we get a clay bar yeah. before we wrap it. That way you don't see the debris through it. Dude, You're dude, sleeping what, sleeping. where'd this come from? You. What? You're, yeah, you. Yeah, it's in the footage. If you scroll back in the footage, we have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, we did record it. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, that was during the flare. It's board. like it looked like a. It was a ball compacted ball. pile of dirt. So much so that it looked like a part of the flare. All right, it's done. All right, pull your shoulder out. No, <laughs> no, you're pulling my side now. How 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 how's Cody's fender look? I haven't actually gone over there yet. Oh, now this is exciting. We get to look. Oh, okay, looks pretty good. Looks good to me. Get closer though. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't either. I don't know. What do the people think? <laughs> What's well, not trimmed yet, so that's where he saves himself. Yeah. Yeah, this wasn't the concerning points are always like here, here, right? Yeah. Here, here, here. And that looks good? Yeah, the one case that looks good under there. Yeah. Yay! Nice <laughs> so they lied to me. This fender, actually Christian did. <laughs> I didn't think this was ever going to come to light. I was really proud of Cody. Yeah, but everything else looked pretty good on it. Yeah, it was just it was just a, a ton of debris like right here, like peppered. It's yeah, coming out of this this vent. I wonder point. why. And choose the spots one <laughs> through the hood. Well, it happened to me too, just in way less spots. Well, it is the sand wrap. Yeah, it's the sand wrap. That's why they call it that because it's just in the nature of having some sand in it. So what you guys got going on over here? Oh. Just a little door panel removal action, that's it. You weren't making a face? And we're gonna go put this in the office. Why do we take this off? Um, so I can wrap on her. Oh, to take the mirror off? Correct. Just look how far the wire goes down to the mirror. There's no disconnect. That's the mirror. a, that's stupid. Yeah, dude. Look at this. You have a lamb truck, you don't know the look wire. This, here, take this, the camera. This. Look how far down they So go obviously back. the mirror is up here, right above the trim piece that we're taking off. Look where the wire goes. Keeps going, keeps going, all the way to right here. It's like the Nile River. That's stupid. So we couldn't show you guys how we had to roll out the whole side, because we pretty much roll out enough. It's quarter panel of the two doors, and we have to hold it, trace it, trim it all out. Um, but here, Christian is doing the passenger door. The door panels came out, obviously, and the, the window, the mirror. The beauty of those sand. You're not gonna like this. This should be good. You're not gonna like this whatsoever. At all. Alright, everyone just calm down. Did you forget about the R8? What R8? Christian, dude, hear me out, bro. I'm listening. I don't think this is a bad idea, but Camille doesn't have any faith in me. I wanna grab my car. You yourself? You can help me a little bit. <laughs> Like, like the way like we help you like lay it and stuff like that. Yeah. But, <laughs> other than that. but here's the best part. His car is white. Yeah. That's... Do you know what color he wants to go? Uh, black. Bad black. Mad black. Bad black and purple wheels. Either that or midnight purple with black wheels. That's a much better idea. All right, midnight purple with black wheels. That's a tough car to wrap. Can we do, all right, let's do a purple color with black. He just said it's a tough car to wrap. You know what? Only because Why? the little corner above the headlights, you know where like your car looks like it would get eye crusties? Yeah, it gets eye crusties? No, that's a, that's a bitch to wrap. Okay, can we just spray paint? Especially if you try to, that's the front one first, so no, that's not an option. Three days later. All right, so today we have Ben's 991.1 Turbo S. 
She has the nice Rift exhaust in tune already. We're doing the inventory intakes, IPS, IPD, IP something, plenum, and, and then the AMS intercoolers, which we will show you some more about it. Right there. That's inventory oh, intakes right here. Once we lay everything out, we'll show you guys. These are absolutely beautiful. And then, young man over here, Christian. Have been wrapping his life away with a nose attack on the Urus. So since the car was a paint matched spec, so meaning everything was gray, we've had to do gloss black on pretty much everything on top of the Inozatec gloss tan. And then we have 570S, I got the Rift full exhaust and tune. Also got service, the spark plugs. And then we got our Dominican Stallion over here, ripping off the crappy old carbon wrap that you see. And we're gonna redo it all so it looks really nice. The wrap really wasn't the best. I don't know how old it is and the quality, but by quality of looking at it, you can tell it doesn't look how it should. That seems like a lot of wrap for a bumper. Don't worry about yourself, all right? How do you deal with them? We get a boat trip for the next weekend. Weekend. You can attack your son, go ahead. Dude, this is exciting. God. Woo. See this right here? Capture this. <laughs> this is what happens when Camilo goes off-roading prior to wrapping. You know, I'm pretty sure we didn't talk about off wrapping it until new, after that. Bring a new definition to the color sand. There is no sand in this car, dude. I don't know what I'm talking about. 